Welcome back to what if Fallout 3 was made into a movie. Last episode, we left at the point where the Lone Wanderer just had finished fighting with some super mutants and was slowly approached by a squad of heavily armed soldiers. These soldiers are clearly identified by the fans of the series as the Brotherhood of Steel, but others don't know that, so during the dialogue of the conversation between the leader of the squad, Sarah Lyons, which we casted as Scarlett Johansson, and the Lone Wanderer will have to contain some information of the backstory with the brother didn't steal. Also during this conversation, the Lone Wanderer comes to his senses that they want to help people, so he asks about his father, Sarah funnily knows about. So she leads him through ruined buildings onto a road headed for, for a big building where a radio station operates, known as Galaxy News Radio. When they reach it, everything is going fine, and the whole squad is about to enter when a big bang comes from the building. Short silence for a few seconds. And then it comes, only louder, and another after two or three seconds. A giant super mutant, known as the super mutant behemoth, comes crashing through the building and attacks the squad along with the lone wanderer. A soldier tries to use a mini nuke launcher called the Fat Man on it but is knocked to her death, sadly. This is where our main character comes in to save the day, picks up the fat man, and loads it properly, launches it at the mutant's face, which knocks the creature off its feet, and also to his death. The Lone Wanderer is praised by Sarah Lyons, along with the rest of the squad, but not too long after, they have to mourn for their lost soldier. After everything is cleared up, they all head up to the station, where they meet a man called Three Dog, who casts as Don Shadell. Three Dog is the disc jockey off the station. The Lone Wanderer asks a few questions about his father, which in result is one answer. The Lone Wanderer was too late and his father had already left for a place on the other side of Washington DC, known as Rivet, Rivet City. Three Dog also mentioned there was a woman he was going to see there. Not long after finding out this news, the Lone Wanderer gets excited as he is following in his footsteps. His father steps very closely, decides to run after him in the desperate need for some answers. That's going to wrap up today's episode, hopefully you enjoy yourself, and if you did make sure to drop a like, which I thank you kindly if you do so, and remember to subscribe to stay up to date with the next episode. Thanks for watching, peace. P.S. Sorry for the late delay, I've been stuck up with PlayStation 4, and it's absolutely amazing, and I'm so sorry for not bringing you the content that you deserve. Again, I'm really appreciative if you can subscribe and drop a like, and even just give me a comment on what your opinions of this show is. Again, thanks. Hi, my name is Stallion 11 and I hope you have a nice evening. Peace out.